comrades. Until we get to where nations shall not lift up sword against nation, and neither shall they learn war anymore, we will always have soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines who are willing to lay down their lives for this great American experiment called democracy. And we need to honor the sacrifices of the lost and support the families they leave behind. Please remember, set your cell phones, set your alarm clocks, and join in a national moment of silence on Monday at 3 o'clock. And say a small prayer for the families of the missing who are missing their heroes this weekend and every day. Thank you for having me today, and I pray Adonai blesses and keeps you and our leaders in government in the United States of America. Shabbat Shalom. I ask you to remain standing for another moment. Just stay for a moment. First of all, a colonel outranks a rabbi, so that was, yeah, no, no, this rabbi, for sure. The reason we do this is not just to express our gratitude to you. It's to teach our children something very important, because they see so, so few examples of devotion, commitment, and self-sacrifice because the sports stars that they cheer for are all free agents playing for the highest bidder, because the politicians that they vote for are people out for interests. And there are so few people in the community who I can point to my son and my daughter and say, there's a person who gave of himself, who gave of herself for the highest ideals we care for. You are those people. And you are examples to our children of the highest reaches of the human soul. So please accept our gratitude. Please accept our honor. And please accept our blessings. Eloheinu velahe avoteinu, our God and God of our ancestors, bless and protect the veterans, their families, and loved ones who gather here gather across this country on this Memorial Day. Grant them strength of body and wholeness of mind and spirit. Protect them under the wings of your sheltering presence. Fill their hearts with pride and confidence that the service they have rendered has given all of us the opportunity to reach the dreams of our souls and to reach the aspirations of our hearts and to maintain the highest ideals articulated by the founders of this land of freedom and liberty and happiness. Bless the souls who have been lost to us with peace and wholeness, and bless their families with wholeness and peace. May they know that their service has mattered and is appreciated and held in deepest regard by those who share the blessings of freedom. Almighty God, bless these veterans among us and grant them peace. Amen. Amen. I will ask you please to join in a prayer written by an American immigrant who served as a sergeant in the First World War. He changed his name to Irving Berlin so that it could be pronounceable and wrote this little ditty, this little prayer, which brings us all to tears each time it is sung. Join me and God bless America.